What's up, everybody? It's Grim, your YouTube wrestling figures heavyweight champion, coming to you today with the top five things WWE figure collectors should never, ever do. I've been collecting WWE wrestling action figures for over 25 years. I have some experience, and I'm going to share it with you guys. Now, the number one thing that WWE figure collectors should never, ever, ever do is repack and return figures. <laughs> I'm going to take this back to Walmart. Nobody's even going to know. Look, they look identical. And then I'm going to get back my $10 that I spent on this because I don't want to spend $10 on a new John Cena, but I just have to have the new John Cena and I'll return the Rey Mysterio that I spent $10 on. <laughs> I am an evil genius. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what kind of low-class asshole would do something like that? If you can't afford to buy wrestling figures, don't collect wrestling figures. Find a way to earn money to buy them. It's not that hard. I guess I'll go into Walmart here. Oh, $20 laying on the street. Thank you. See how easy it is to get money? And if you can't find money to buy wrestling figures, get a new hobby like picking your ass. The number two thing that WWE figure collectors should never, ever, ever do is buy a wrestling figure because, oh, this is gonna be worth something one day. this Razor Ramon is gonna be worth so much money. I bet you, in about eight years, this thing is gonna triple in value and I'll get like $40 for it because it's the best Razor Ramon, and it's the only Razor Ramon that Jax is even gonna make, and it took us so long to get it, and I don't want this shit anymore. This thing sucks. It's old, it's out of scale, the face scan is garbage. Look what we got! We got a brand new Mattel Defining Moments Razor Ramon. It makes this look like a pile of poo. Now nobody wants this, and everybody wants this. Was this a worthy investment? No, children, it was not. Toys are meant to be played with. Not opening a toy and playing with it is like not undressing a woman. It's pointless. The number three thing that WWE figure collectors should never, ever, ever do is ruin a perfectly good wrestling figure to make a custom of an updated figure that you know we're gonna get anyway. I mean, if John Cena changes his shirt and changes his pants, you know that Mattel's gonna make us a new one. Be patient. Hi, kids! This is Ebony's and Middlesdorf, and today we are going to update this out-of-date attire, John Cena. He is now currently wearing black jorts with blue stripes. So we'll just start coloring it like this. Oh, doesn't that look awesome? Yeah, why the fuck should we wait for Mattel to make us an updated one when we can just do it ourselves? Look at Black jorts. Nailed it. And then all we gotta do is color these in blue. Yeah, look at that. Updated attire, motherfucker. I'm so excited. My wrist tape is going from raw ass red to bitch ass blue. Ha, kids. Yeah, there he is. Nailed it times two. Constantly trying to keep these cocksuckers current is a losing battle. Just wait for Mattel to make them and appreciate what you got. I see it all the time and it breaks my heart because I know that if you just waited a few months, you could have got the brand new John Cena in the black shorts. It's gonna happen. Hang in there. I promise. It's coming. It's coming. The number four thing that WWE figure collectors should never, ever, ever do is something that I see all the damn time. <gasps> Elite Superstar Series 35 is up for pre-order on WrestlingFigures.com? I'm gonna use discount code GRIM at checkout to save 10%, but I need money first. I'm sorry to see you go, guys. I know I just got you two months ago, but you're going on eBay so I can pre-order the new stuff. Why would you do that? Too stupid! You just spent all that money on those figures, and now you're selling them for half the price to buy more figures that you're gonna wanna sell in two months! Why are you so stupid? And the final thing that WWE figure collectors should never, ever, ever do is buy loose figures off the internet. You don't know where these figures have been. God knows if somebody shoved that figure up their ass. And now you are getting yourself a butt figure. That smells like somebody's butt. That's disgusting. And I don't want to see that happen to you or you or you 
or you, and especially to you. I thank you guys for watching this video, and if you have any other ideas that WWE figure collectors should never ever do, leave them in the comments below. If there's enough of them, I'll make another one of these. And again, thank you guys for watching. Grim 